Hello! One of my favorite uses of Google Apps as a teacher is using forms to create rubrics. Now there are lots of add-ons and scripts for use with these apps that create rubrics, but I'm going to show you how to create a rubric using the plain Google Forms. So go to Google Forms and create a new form. I'm going to call it Sample Essay Rubric. So I always begin my forms by asking for the section number. So I'm going to make that multiple choice and force them to choose from one, two, or three. And I will make that a required question. Then I'm going to add a text question and make it required for the student to leave their last name. The great thing about this tool is you can set it up however you want. You can use it for public speaking, for essays, or however you want to use it for any kind of assignment. I'm going to show you how to use this grid feature, and I'm going to set it up as if we were marking an essay. So for this, I'm going to set up a grid and label the question as content. Then I'm going to set up my rows as clear purpose, specific details, and you can name them whatever you want, really. And then in the columns, I'm going to set up a numbered scale. That's going to create a grid where I have the labeled rows, and I can assign a point score based on the numbers in the columns. I'm also going to make this required, just to make sure that I don't miss something while grading. And then I'm going to create another grid with a new topic. This time I'll make the question for style. I'll create some categories in the rows, label the columns, and make it required again. Finally, I'll make a third grid, called editing, label my rows, and number my columns. Now you can make as many of these as you want, and use whatever criteria and grading point scale that you choose. This is just an example of one way that you might want to set it up. Now I always end with a paragraph question so I can post comments. So I can send this to my students if I want them to evaluate their own work, but it's also just a great tool for me to use for collecting all of the data as I'm grading papers or assignments. So if we want to go here, we can start to fill out one of these forms as if we were grading an essay. I'll assign a score to each category, make my comments, and then submit the results. Once you've graded all your papers, you can view your responses in spreadsheet form by going here. And then I've got all of my data laid out in a sheet. One of the nice things here is that I can sort my spreadsheet by section number and last name once I have a bunch of data entered into it. Another cool thing is that if you go over here, you'll go past all the numbers and see the comments. But here, I can put in a formula at the end of the line that includes a sum, and then select all the numbered columns in my sheet. This will give me the sum of all the marks on the student, which I can then drag down to apply the same formula to all of the upcoming submissions in the form. So that's a great tool, and one that many teachers use all the time in order to easily track student grades. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day!